To perform ray tracing analysis you need to go to the assembly tab. In the assembly tab you could import the objects, import the source file or source object, move them, at a step 2, set some material properties and how the reflections behavior affect the energy absorption and finally perform ray tracing and save the analysis. So first things to do is to import the objects. I start with the importing the source file. In the installation file, you could find the objects and the demo files. You could start with the demos. So this is a source as a demo. The next thing is to import the objects. The other objects you could either be opaque object or uh, the transparent object. So this is one object and I bring the second object. Um, the next thing is that uh, you could uh, import uh, and move the object. Here you could select the object and move the object. You could either do it by this edit boxes or use this graphical um, interface. Or could rotate with this uh, widget or move it with uh, this uh, slider. If the value of this uh, slider are uh, small, you could change the value here. For example, um, the Z movement here, here between the minus 248 to uh, 248. And you like it to change it to more you could uh, here comes and set it for example to 350 and click on uh, enter and then the object moves as you see the slider will not be updated but to be updated the slider you could need to close the window and open it again and when you open again the window you see that uh, the the limits will be changed accordingly. So for this example I put it uh, at the good uh, possible locations, you will see it here. And I will also change the uh, simple plate, location of this plate. And again uh, open this, uh, um, this graphical interface. You could now move the object you need to rotate it. Now I'm at this side and change the scale like that. So we need to slightly make it also bigger, something like that, and even maybe bigger and move it again a little bit. I'll rotate it like this. When you are done, you could uh, yeah, see it like that. And then uh, you could go to the third step, which is assign the properties. Well, uh, you see that uh, which objects uh, we have now here in this scene, three objects, as you see here. One, two, three. One is source, the other two are objects. And the other objects could uh, be assigned for the properties. 
uh, if they need the other reflections from their surface or reflections where the rays or signals go through the object. Uh, this is the refractive index and how the light or signals are bended when you go through the material. And this is the value of the imaginary part of the refractive index um, uh, with the formulations of the Lambert uh, law. We could uh, calculate uh, uh, the amount of uh, absorption to the material. Uh, you could either do it uh, by um, absorption coefficient here, if you set the value here, then this imaginary part will not be considered, but if you put it this absorption as an N, then the um, absorption coefficient will be uh, calculated based on the imaginary part of the refractive index and the uh, wavelengths of the source. You could see more information in the help of the software, help and user guide, where these uh, relations of formulation are explained. Um, before uh, well, finalizing the assignment property, you need to set the energy rules, where, where the relations between the um, reflection energy absorption will be uh, calculated. You need to import the data file. There is a sample data file available in the demo and is uh, basically the relation between angle of incident, beta, and uh, how much energy would be reflected. You could change the value or change the source file from the Excel file or change it also here. And when you're done with uh, changing some um, values here, uh, you could close the window and then uh, go back again to the this uh, window and then you will see the experimental data you could change the fitting data for example at polynomial at the third degree uh, you could uh, change the name and then um, you could add the role when you add the role uh, this energy match mechanism will be updated you could set it like that and then uh, you could select that uh, from which uh, uh, objects will have a reflection or refractions here. I set it all. Uh, I set for the second object uh, there would be no refraction, only a reflection so from this wall. So the light will go through this lens, transparent lens. And this lens does not have reflections. So you could see the reflection off and when you're done here you could click on assign properties and the table will be locked. If you need to unlock the table, click on the table again. Uh, when you basically click on assign properties, the informations and some basic uh, calculations and the formula will be executed and they assign it to do each properties. So when you're done, um, you could perform ray tracing. This value is total energy. Uh, this is very uh, useful if you need to analyze the, um, the energy transfer between the, uh, between the objects. And then you could see this in the uh, Excel file when you, you create it. So we set it as default, like 1000 as a um, a source energy or source signal power and then uh, you could select and click on ray tracing now you're done here you will see that uh, how the uh, our rays are reflected uh, rays are interacted with the material if you need to perform more uh, a reflection from the object you could change a setting, for example, from ray tracing setting. This is, for example, increase the number of uh, reflections. And if you need to perform like a double precision analysis, you could select that. And uh, this is also for memory management of the GPU. You could also change its value. So this would be more 
um, more discretizations of the uh, memory GPU to, to analyzes. Uh, you will see uh, uh, the, all of this explanation in the documentation of the software. And we review this analysis again. And you will see we have a little bit uh, changing in the interactions of the material. Could hide or show these values. And when you are done, you could uh, save the ray tracing points. So you could select a um, tempo fun test, uh, save the save the files, and on that file, all of the information regarding the. Um, regarding the, the 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 intersection points, you'll see in, intersection points of the x, y, z, and the angle of incident, and then corresponding energy will be calculated. That's shown. You will see for a different object and different level, like a first time uh, interaction, the level two, level three, and level etc. So you could import this data and um, export it and use it in other software for further analysis. <laughs>